How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another C++ programming tutorial. In the last video we were looking at the else statement uh, uh, in conjunction with the if statement and testing for conditions and that sort of thing. We were looking at how many virgins we found and uh, what Bin Laden said and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, let's continue with this example though. I'm going to save my, uh, my code as, as a different copy. I'm going to call mine 12.nested CPU. What the hell? <laughs> 12 underscore nested dot cpp none of those things that i said were were true beforehand okay let's do let's say, let's kind of fix up these these conditions here if the number of virgins is greater than or equal to let's throw in an equal sign there if the number of virgins is greater than or equal to what bin laden said then we can actually do a bit more tests we can nest some statements we can nest if statements inside one another if number of virgins is equal to what Bin Laden said. Now we can display. Oh hey. Uh, Bin Laden was right. Well, on the line. Then we can do the else. See out. Bin Laden. Okay. If it's greater than or equal to, we're already looking at the case where it's equal to, so the only mean that means that the only remaining case is if it's greater than. Bin Laden was thinking a little less, which means we have more versions than what Bin Laden thought we would. And we can remove the other C out because we're actually looking at both of them in this nested if statement, and in this case, it, where it says the else, where we have less. That means that Bin Laden overshot it, and we've already counted. We've already accounted for the case where Bin Laden is right because we're testing that in the is equal to portion of the uh, initial condition. If the number of versions is greater than or equal to, if the number of versions is equal to, if the number of versions is greater than, else that means it's less than, which means that Bin Laden overshot it. Bin Laden overshot it a little bit. Now we should have tasted. Uh, we should have we should have tested anyway for every single possible case. Let's run this code and see what happens. G plus plus twelve nested at CP, CPP and uh, and ate it out. Hello world, how many versions did you find? I found zero. Bin Laden overshot it a bit. He thought there were seventy two and there were really zero. Now let's do it again. How many versions did you find? I found seventy two. Bin Laden was right. Cool. Run this again. We get 100. Bin Laden was thinking a little less. He thought there would be 72. There were, in fact, 100. So right now, because we've tested this, these conditions, we've been using multiple if statements in L statements inside others, we've kind of essentially accounted for everything in a, in a, in a fun, fancy, fun way of thinking it. Okay. I think we're good. I mean, I think I'm good. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I just wanted to prove that you can, of course, nest some of your if statements, and that allows you to have more control depending on how you're setting up your conditions and that sort of thing. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next tutorial.